In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, and welcome to the Shrine and Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins, and we ask God's mercy and the forgiveness. In all humility, all together we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. To my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and to the glorious intercession of the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, May we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I ask then, has God rejected his people? Of course not. For I too am a child of Israel, a descendant of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. God has not rejected his people, whom he foreknew. Do you not know what the scripture says about Elijah, how he pleads? with God against Israel? Hence I ask, did they stumble so as to fall? Of course not, but through their transgression, salvation has come to the Gentiles, so as to make them jealous. Now, if their transgression is enrichment for the world, and if their diminished number is enrichment for the Gentiles, how much more their full number. Thus, and the call of God are irrevocable. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will not abandon his people. The Lord will not abandon his people. Blessed the man whom you instruct, O Lord, whom by your law you teach, giving him rest from evil days. The Lord will not abandon his people. For the Lord will not cast off his people, nor abandon his inheritance, but judgment shall again be with justice, and all the uprights of heart shall follow it. The Lord will not abandon his people. Were not the Lord my help, my soul would soon dwell in the silent grave. When I say, my foot is slipping, your mercy, O Lord, sustains me. The Lord will not abandon his people. Please stand. Take my yoke upon you, 
and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. On a Sabbath, Jesus went to dine at the home of one of the leading Pharisees, and the people there were observing him carefully. He told the parable to those who had been invited, noticing how they were choosing the place of honor at the table. When you are invited by someone to a wedding banquet, do not recline a table in the place of honor. A more distinguished guest than you may have been invited by him, and the host who invited both of you may approach you and say, Give your place to this man, and then you would proceed with embarrassment to take the lowest place. Brother, when you are invited, go and take the lowest place, so that when the host comes to you, he may say, my friend, move up to a higher position. Then you will enjoy the esteem of your companions at the table. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled. But the one who humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. A humble person knows his rightful place. Ang taong mapagkumbaba, alam niya ang kanyang tamang lugar. At ang lahat, ang lahat ay nagiging maayos pag alam natin ang ating lugar. Nagiging magulo lang naman eh, kapag wala ka sa lugar. Halimbawa, okay yung kumain, yung matulog, maglaro, Manood ng paborito mong palabas sa cellphone mo, pero huwag mo nang gagawin habang nagmimisa sa loob ng simbahan. Wala ka sa lugar. O kayo magbiruan. O kayo magtawanan. Pero pag wala na sa lugar, hala, nakakapikunan na, may nagagalit na, may nag-aaway na, wala na sa lugar yung biro mo eh. Naalala niyo mga bata pa tayo? Halimbawa, may bisita yung nanay o tatay sa sala. Nag-uusap sila. Tapos naglalaro tayo, maingay tayo. Anong sasabihin ng mga magulang natin? Lumugar kayo. Nag-uusap yung mga tatanda. Doon, doon kayo sa tabi. Doon kayo sa tabi. Lumugar kayo. Ang lahat ay naging maayos kapag ka nasa tamang lugar. At tayo nasa tamang lugar pag marunong tayo magbigay ng respeto. Paggalang pag alam mo yung lugar mo, marunong ka magrespeto. Sa lahat ng tao, sa lahat ng pagkakataon. Respeto sa mga nakakataas sa iyo. Maring dahil sa kanilang obligasyon o posisyon. Respeto sa magulang. Respeto sa mga karapat-dapat na mga pinuno. Pinuno ng bayan o pinuno ng simbahan. Respeto sa mga mga guru. Respeto sa mga nabigyan ng responsibilidad sa atin na pangalagaan tayo. Respeto sa mga nakakataas sa atin. Respeto sa mga kapantay natin, mga kapatid natin, makaibigan natin, makasama natin sa trabaho. Kapantay natin sila. Hindi sila nandyan para lamangan natin o gamitin natin. Respeto sa mga kapantay natin. At respeto sa maaring mga mas mababa sa atin. O sabihin natin dahil mas nakakaangat tayo sa kanila. Hindi sila mababa kasi sa atin, mas nakakaangat lang tayo. Yung bawa, yung mga kasambahay natin, yung makatulong, yung mga driver, yung mga empleyado, yung mga nakakabata sa atin. Respeto sa kanila. Dahil ba nakakaangat ka, pwede mo na silang lamangan o abusuhin. Hindi. Respeto. Respeto sa nakakataas. Respeto sa kapantay. Respeto sa nakakabata. Nakakababa sa atin. Tulad ng ating pagbigay ng respeto sa mga sandaling ito. Kasi kaharap natin ang napakataas. Ang Panginoon. Tahanan niya to. 
Diyos siya, tao tayo. Takapaglikha siya, nilikha tayo. Makapangyarihan siya, wala tayong kapangyarihan. Alam niya ang lahat? Anong alam mo? Kaya bigay mo yung respeto. Ang lahat ay nagiging maayos kapag ka tayo na sa tamang lugar natin. Ang lahat ay naging maayos pag nasa lugar. Ako po'y tagay luilo at pag kami nagpapapara ng sasakyan, sinasabi namin hindi yung para, tabi, sinasabi namin sa driver, manong sa lugar lang, sa lugar lang. At itatabi ang sasakyan. Ang lahat ay naging maayos pag nasa tamang lugar. Nagiging magulo pag wala ka sa lugar o nang aagaw ka ng lugar ng iba. Sana pagdating ng panahon, pagkatok natin sa pintuan ng langit, sa salubungin tayo ng Panginoon sabihin sa atin, Welcome. Ito ang tamang lugar mo. Sana, wag mangyari na pagkatok natin sa pintuan ng langit, sabihin sa atin, Ba't ka narito? Wala ka sa lugar. Hindi ito ang lugar mo. Sitayo po tayo. Let us pray to the Father in heaven that you may learn from His Son, Jesus Christ, what it means to be humble and to know our rightful place. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That we as a church may go out of our own worlds to serve others with self-effacing love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those in public office may give the best of themselves in serving the people instead of seeking their personal gain. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may show gratitude to those who render service to us in various ways. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the elderly may find respect and attention from their families. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have gone ahead of us in this life may be received into the Lord's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the intentions of this Mass and in the silence of our hearts, we present to the Lord our own personal intentions. We also remember to pray for our dear departed ones. Lord our God, it is not easy to be humble. May we learn from Jesus to be available to anyone who seeks help and give respect to everyone and know our rightful place. We ask this to Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand.
Primary sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that to the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. To him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as uh, we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary bishop, 
and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Now, in loving confidence, we pray to our Father in the words Christ taught us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Do not look on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Here is Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
please stand. Let us pray. O God, who chose to foreshadow for us the heavenly Jerusalem, may we rejoice in the unfailing health of mind and body. And as we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalo at pakikiisa sa banal na misa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration of the Mass is ended. Go to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. Lord God Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of uh, religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ and Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, candles, images, oil, scapulas, crucifixes, prayer booklets, and their articles of devotion be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you.